This girl's side hustle, specifically Instacart side hustle, made her $142, and she only took two orders. So let's check this out. So we're bundled up, but I just got a $22 order at Walmart. Let's go do this. Okay, we're not messing around with these Minute Maids. It took me like 20 minutes to shop. All right, we just finished. Okay, second order of the day is $40 at good old Sprouts. I have never heard of a store named Sprouts. That's so crazy. There is a lot of items to grab, though. This is going to be time consuming. Anytime I come here, though, I want to buy everything. I want cash. Hey, the order is going pretty good. Normally, I get anxiety in here. I'm going to get a little lost. So far, so good. Now, I don't know if I'm the only one, but it's kind of hard to understand her a little bit. Maybe just the way that she's talking. But basically, the second order, I guess, is like a pretty big order. She has to get a lot of stuff compared to the other one. So maybe she'll make more money from that order, I'm guessing. Okay, let's check out. So because I had so many groceries, I let the girl behind me go in front of me in line. Because she only had like a few things, right? But then the girl that was behind her was like, hey, can I get in front of you too? And you know what I said? I said, yes. Because it's always good to be a kind person. Hey, I agree. It is always a good thing to be kind. If you put out loving kindness, I truly believe you'll get loving kindness back. Now let's go drop off this order. It's giving... I need to take this off. Okay. It's about to get dark, and once it gets dark, I depart. Like, I'm... Okay, so, let's see. So an Instacart side hustle has made a TikToker over $100 with only two runs. Leah is a TikToker who typically shares lifestyle content, vlogs, and hauls. And also the crazy thing about these TikTokers, like they basically make no money from the actual video itself. But if they have a sponsor and depending on the sponsor and how many views they typically get... We're potentially talking about like a TikToker who might make like anywhere from like a thousand dollars per video all the way up to even like a million dollars from a single video, depending on how much views, how much engagement they actually get on a video. So keep that in mind. Like some of these TikTokers are making disgusting amounts of money making these short TikToks. So Leah has over 123,000 followers on TikTok. And I guess her TikTok is Leah Baby XO, which I guess is L E A H B B Y X O. So let's see. So apparently she made one hundred forty-two dollars in twenty-nine. She can apparently cash out one hundred fourteen dollars in twenty-six cents. So that's interesting. Interesting. So Instacart added to her total was $75.48, making her earnings $142.29 for the day. Okay. So she recently posted a TikTok revealing how much she made in one day doing her Instacart side hustle. In the video, she revealed that after only two orders on Instacart, she was able to score an extra $142.29. The influencer revealed to 1.2 million viewers that she was on day six of doing various side hustles to pay her bills. Upcoming rent, so I don't have to spend any of my check on bills, Leah said in the video. Order number one. The first Instacart order, Leah said, she received was a $22 Walmart order that she'd picked up for sale and dropped off at their home. She said it took about 20 minutes to get everything the person wanted. Order number two. Leah's second Instacart order was a $40 Sprouts purchase. Before going into the supermarket, Leah admitted that the order would be time-consuming. There are a lot of items to grab, though, she said. Leah said that she gets things for herself every time she goes into Sprouts to pick up other people's orders. And the total earnings, and I forgot that Instacart pays you every single Thursday your judgment pays for the last week, so I did end up making today $142 Leah shared. Okay, so I guess that's what the extra money was. So a weekly adjustment is added to Instacart shoppers' earnings if the total of your Instacart batch payments 
is less than the guaranteed minimum according to Instacart. So the current balance page Leah showed in the video revealed that her batch earning was $31.23 to which her tips of $7.55 was added. She also had $28.03 added to her tip amount because it included other pending tips that she had. The adjustment pay that Instacart added to her total was $75.48, making her earnings $142.29 for the day. And in the TikTok, she went on to celebrate making that much from only doing two orders. So that's pretty good, she said. And Leah said that she made so much from picking up orders for people through Instacart that she had a little money to spoil herself. So in the comments, inspired by the influencer's quick money-making side hustle, her followers asked questions to help them get started with Instacart for themselves. A TikToker said, I signed up for Instacart because of you! Exclamation point! Exclamation point! Exclamation point! I'm literally going to start doing this tomorrow, another person added. I need $53 a day. Not bad. Pray for me. Lee replied saying, you got this in all caps. Someone else said that they were curious and asked, when you say a $22 order or $40, is that how much the cart is worth or how much you're getting paid? And the TikToker user went on to say, trying to get signed up, and the Instacart shopper answered their question by informing them that's how much she's getting paid. Keep in mind, any side hustle income still needs to be reported to the Internal Revenue Service or you may face penalties come tax time. And... Okay, so I guess there's other, like, Instacart stuff. Now, here's the thing, right? There's nothing wrong with, like, doing, like, a side hustle like this just to make some, like, extra money. The problem that I see with a lot of these things is that you would potentially make more money by simply working more hours at whatever you are doing as, like, your main job, right? Because you might end up getting paid overtime, you might end up like improving and getting like basically promoted in your career so you could end up basically increasing your earning capacity like typically the best way to make more money is to simply just work more right now it's a little bit different like if say that maybe you're doing like a sales job that'd be a little bit different than that's basically pure commission potentially and you're just completely reliant on your skills or increasing your skills at basically selling but also, like, the problem that I see is, like, the problem with these side hustles, the biggest problem that I see is that you're always going to be limited by the time you have in your day to actually dedicate to something like this, right? So if you're working, like, a full-time job and then you do this side hustle, like, how much time do you really have to actually dedicate to this side hustle? And can you really even grow this side hustle to make it really worth it for you to actually dedicate the time to try to make this work out for you, right? Because, like, here's the thing. There's nothing wrong with, like, wanting to, like, earn money whenever you want, basically, in the sense, by, like, being basically, like, a contractor in the sense. Same thing with, like, Uber. But a lot of people don't really factor in the costs that it actually takes to actually do these side hustles, right? Like, for example, Uber. Yeah, you might be making good money, but at the same time, you're practically destroying your car, its value, like, the wear and tear on that vehicle is going to be insane, the insurance is going to be more, like, you're going to face like more liabilities. It could be potentially dangerous by transporting people that you don't really know. Same thing with Instacart. Like you're going to be dedicating more time transporting things around using your own vehicle that you're basically beating up on to just try to make some extra cash, right? Like I think this is like fine for like a short-term thing, but I would hope that people don't try to rely on something like Instacart or Uber or something like that as their main career, their main job, right? Because the reality is you're going to be very limited as to what you could potentially make. Like, in all seriousness, like, you're going to be limited. And sometimes it just might be better to just get a decent paying job close to where you live that's reliable, 
Like, there's nothing wrong with working, like, a job as well. Feel free to give your thoughts on this, but, like, if you are basically wanting to just, like, pay down your debt, maybe, this ain't that bad of an option for a short-term time frame, maybe, like, for a year. But still, this is, like, it's not a lot of money in the grand scheme of things because this might be, like, an okay day, but... What about all the other days? Like, say you were to do this for like a month. What is the average amount that you would actually make per day, given the small amount of time that you might actually have to dedicate to something like this? Like, that's something you got to really factor in. Because you're probably not doing this full time, meaning you, what, maybe got like two, three hours per day to actually dedicate to something like this. How much money are you actually really making from that? And if you stumble upon this and you do Instacart and whatnot, feel free to give your thoughts. I've never done Instacart, but it's like, I feel like the time and the cost to dedicate to a side hustle like this probably isn't that worth it, at least in my mind. If you want to learn how I got out of debt and grew my net worth, go down below or go to 40inbox.com. Stay tuned for more financial commentary.